Let me just start off by saying that the way that we have been taught to study in high school does not work in med school. Taking notes in lecture every day was not useful at all. Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I stopped taking notes in my med school. Let's start off by assessing our main goal for making these notes. How exactly am I going to use these notes? Am I going to use these notes? The notes that I made initially in med school was just the facts that the professor taught us in the lecture and I would just write them down. And these notes were great for short term, but when I had to go through them after a couple of months, I felt lost and a lot of information was missing. So eventually I had to go back to textbooks. My goal of making notes was to condense the huge amounts of information that we are supposed to know so that it's easier for me to go through them during exams. So when I went to lectures, I would make notes. When I came back to my room, I would read the textbooks and make notes even more. And before I knew it, I was just filling books after books. Also this wasn't easy with medical books because it had tons and tons of information. Sometimes I would just find myself rewriting the whole page from the book and it all felt like a big waste of time and energy. On top of that, these notes were not very reliable during exams because I just felt like a lot of things were missing. So later on when I started attending lectures, I started paying more attention on what the teacher was teaching us and what they expected us to know than making notes. This helped me understand what exactly the teacher was trying to tell us to remember and understand and uh, not waste any time on making notes and missing out on important topics. I would still write down some things that I found challenging or needed more clarity on. After the lecture, I would go home and get more clarity on the things that I had written down first. Later on, I would ask my friends about it and have a discussion on it. And then finally, I would open my textbook and go through the overall chapter. I will talk about study techniques in a different video. After reading the standard textbooks once, I would underline certain keywords and statements that would fully explain the concept to me. So when I had to revise again, I would just read the underlined words and the statements that would fully explain the whole thing so that I didn't waste more time. Sometimes I would even put up sticky notes with selected information on it and the summary of the whole page so that it becomes more condensed. Many times I would just make a list of questions about the topic that I was studying so that when I'm revising, I challenge my brain to think more on it with the questions. This essentially meant relying more on active recall than on rereading the topic again and again. This was definitely a more effective way of studying and it made more sense rather than just remembering huge amounts of information the one day and forgetting it the next day. I really wish I had an option of not attending le some lectures physically so that I could review the video lectures and get, get things done quicker. I hope this video helped you a little and gave you a little insight on how it's like studying in a med school and if it did go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. How I wish med school made things easy in India.